Hello friends, Valentin here and in today's video we are going to have a look at the, a unique dagger called the Cinque Dia, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to pronounce it, which is the dagger that Kerang aka Malekith, spoiler alert, is using and I, I found out that you could actually have this dagger not too long ago, it's actually very hidden somewhere on the northwest side of Kaelid. I'll put a little video showing you how you can get this weapon, it's behind the Gurang it's on the, the left of the Garang Monastery, hidden. Uh, you need to do a little bit of jumping puzzle in order to get it. So what's so special about this dagger? Well, what's so special about it is that it boosts your beast incantations. So if you pair it with the claw mark uh, seal, you will have about a 20% boost in your damage of beast incantations. This is this sounds beautiful if you want to main beast incantation. Problem is that beast incantations are pretty fucking terrible, except for bestial sling. Bestial sling is amazing. Bestial sling is actually just almost overpowered. It's, it's close to be overpowered. It comes out very fast. It does about a hundred points damage, so you are going to stagger most people. Uh, you can do. You can do at level 80 around 200 to 300 damage with it if you scale in strength and fate respectively. So just by spamming bestial sling, you will be very annoying, very strong. The problem is that all the other beast incantations are pretty trash. So just a quick overview, we have Vitality, Beast Claw, Stone of Garang, Garang's Beast Claw, and that's pretty much it. And the only one that's really good is Bestial Sling. And the problem with most of these incantations is that they are taking a long time to cast. They don't do that much damage and they don't have a lot of um, potential, you know, even as a roll catch. They also use quite a bit of FP. So why would you ever want to use those incantations rather than some Ashes of War? Those are the problem with most incantations at the moment. But going back on the topic of the dagger, well, it's it's actually very surprising. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. First of all, the range is pretty big on the dagger. The main problem with daggers, if you want to use them offensively, is that you have no range. And in the game dominated by spear and halberd, so long poking weapon, getting into your opponent's face in order to attack him is going to be a problem. One of the problems with daggers is that they don't do that much poise damage. So if anyone has a good amount of poise, you will not get staggered by your attack, except if you attack them twice in a row and those can be done before they are even able to attack because dagger moveset is very quick and also if you use the R2s, the R2s on the dagger have a lot of stun potential. I don't know the exact number, I'll put it on screen. But this amount of, po of poise damage is enough to stagger many, many opponents. So if you pair that with a fast moveset and being able to quick step in and out and pair it with bestial sling to be able to do damage with, with a lot more reach, the bestial sling has quite a bit of reach, you're able to stand toe to toe against even people using uh, meta setup. So honestly, it was a blast playing with this weapon. Have a look at the stat of the build. This is the build I was using. I mainly invest into vigor, strength and faith. Another thing that's great about this dagger is that it has a lot of damage for a dagger. I mean, you can do about 200 to 300 a hit and for a dagger, that's like a lot of damage. It comes out really quick. It allows you to have a very, very fast pace on your opponent. You can be in the face of your opponent, attacking him, quick stepping out of it if you don't have the time to roll. Um, going with bestial sling if your opponent is a bit is a bit far, you can stun him with bestial sling, then attacking him with the dagger. It's just very fun. Honestly, it's a great tool. If you have a faith and strength build, give it a try. Um, of course, the, if, if your goal is really to win, sticking to one weapon and one loadout is not really the the main way to win you know you need you you might as well switch your your gears you know swapping weapon hard swapping weapon from long range close range you know being quite unpredictable to your opponent this is really how the best players are playing at the moment um but if you like to you know try something different use the dagger you're not going to win every time it's a, it's a below average type of dagger but it was a nice discovery it was also really cool to imitate gurang uh, slash malikith style of play and uh yeah tell me what you guys think about it don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye